Thank you for staying with me on Crunch Econometrics. This is the fifth of nine GMM video series titled Two Step System GMM. But before you watch this, it is important that you watch all these prerequisite videos and in particular the one on the One Step System GMM. Because what I'm about to do in this video is just minor additions to what was done in that uh, tutorial. So given that, I'm going to skip all these um, notes just to avoid repetition. I've explained all this in detail right from my videos on that different GMM and the one step system GMM. So I'll take it off from here. Why do we estimate the two step system GMM? It is simply the augmented two step difference GMM. It is more robust to the one step system GMM, more efficient and robust to treating heteroscedasticity and autocorrelation. So, what will be the learning outcome? Is the same learning outcome as was done under the one step system GMM, where I did 13 simulations showing you how your results change when you change these options. So, we are going to perform a similar thing in this tutorial. Let's take a look at the syntax for the two-step system GMM. If, it's, if you look closely, it is the two-step options here that differentiates this syntax from that of the one-step. If you remove this two-step, you are simply running the one-step system GMM. So, it is the two-step option here that differentiates this syntax with that of the one-step system GMM. Every other thing is exactly the same. I'm using the same variables. I'm using the same instrument set. As I emphasized, please use your own data you don't have access to my data but you have access to my do file and every other do file used in my video tutorial they are all available on my website make sure you have a google account and a chrome browser so please if you are ready load your data and let's get started so we are now in stata i have my log file on to track all estimations here is my data editor still using the same panel data of 54 countries Algeria being the first country and Zimbabwe as the 54th country. Each country has 11 years observations from 2005 to 2015 and I've always emphasized that you generate year dummies. As you can see here, I have 11 year dummies. Here is the do file which will be available for you on my website. I have written here all the codes I'll be executing even though I've already executed them. But these are the codes that we are using for the two-step system GMA. Like I mentioned, I have executed all the commands. So I'll be using the log file to explain all my analysis. First thing first, it's always good for you to set up Stata to run your panel data analysis by executing the xtsetcid here command or depending on how you're able to code your own data. So make sure you run the xtset command. If not, Stata will not run your panel data estimations. Okay, so let us begin with the first simulation with the equation sub option but without the collapse option. So by now you have a good idea of how your result will turn out if you don't use the collapse option. So this is the syntax that was executed and because we are using the two step, I have the two step option here and at the top of the table you can see this is a two step system GMM output. So we are running the correct um, estimation. So without your collapse option, as you can see, number of instruments higher than number of groups, this is not good at all even though we have the lag dependent variable significant and one of my regressors also significant and if you take a look at Hansen it's exactly what you obtained under the one step uh, system GMA. AR2 is not so different from that too and AR2 is always more important uh, for you to consider than AR1. AR2 not significant tells you that your model does not suffer from second order serial correlation. So because Hansen is 0.924, you have too many instruments, therefore this model is not good at all. You will observe after you are using your own data to follow my analysis, your results are almost similar to what you obtained using the one-step system GMM. The differences are just in the coefficients and in the AR2 statistic. Your Hansen statistic from what I'm getting from my own analysis is exactly the same. The third simulation is without the equation sub option and the collapse option. And here we have our results. Without the collapse option, number of instruments is higher than the number of groups. The lacked dependent variable is still significant at 1%. Mobile has also improved in significance to 1%. Like I said, if you compare with what you have on that one-step system, Hansen is exactly the same. Simulation 4, without equation, sub-option, but with the collapse option. After executing this command, I got this error message from Stata, which says that my equation is not identified because my regressors outnumber the number of instruments. If I'm particular about working on this model, so what will I do? I may have to reduce my regressors and also change 
some instruments. That is if I'm really keen about working on this particular model. Simulation 5. Now let's see how the results change when we change the assumptions made on the classification of some regressors. The log of mobile has always been initially treated as an exogenous variable. Now I'm going to treat it as a predetermined variable. So because of that, I'm going to include the log of mobile in the GMM instrument set. As you can see here and using the collapse option what do we have so this is the result number of instruments is reduced because we have the collapse option let's go to Hansen. it's exactly what was obtained under the one step system gmm so at that point i may decide not to reject the hypothesis that my instruments are valid at the five percent level simulation six still using the log of mobile as a predetermined variable so let us simulate this without the equation level sub option and this is what we have because we have the collapse option so our results are not new. We have reduced instruments. The coefficient of the lagged dependent variable is significant at the 1% level. And I have two regressors here being significant. Inflation at 5% and mobile at 10%. Let's take a look at Hansen. It's exactly what was obtained under one step uh, system GMM. So this model is okay because I have valid instruments and my model does not suffer from second order serial correlation. Let's look at simulation 7 without the no diff Sargon and collapse options. So by now, you have an idea of what your result will look like. Without collapse option, you have too many instruments, as you can see here at 132. So even without checking your hand scene, you should know that you cannot accept these results. Look at hand scene. 1.00. So let's just discard this and move on to the next one. Simulation 8. Without no diff Sargon, but now with the collapse option. So using the collapse option, I'm very sure this result will be better. I have reduced instruments. Aside the lagged dependent variable, I can see that uh, two of my regressors are significant, which is good. Scrolling down to Hansen, this is good at 0.183. And because I removed the no diff Sargon, it means I'm interested in this statistic. So whenever you are interested in the difference in Hansen statistic, do not indicate the no diff Sargon among your option sets. Let's look at simulation 9 without the two-step robust option. Once you remove the two-step robust option, by now you know that you are estimating the one-step system GMM, as you can see here. So once you remove that, you are going to have the result for one-step system GMM. So let's move away from here. Let's look at simulation 10 without orthogonal option. Without orthogonal option, if you have an unbalanced panel, like I've emphasized in my previous videos, you are going to suffer uh, the loss of observations. It is not obvious in my own analysis because I have a balanced panel. But if you have an unbalanced panel, you would notice a big difference between the number of your observations here the moment you remove the orthogonal option. Simulation 11 without small option. I for one, I prefer to have T statistics and F statistics. So I I always uh, indicate small option. The moment you remove the small option, you are telling Stata you prefer the Z statistics and the world uh, statistic. But it's a matter of choice, it's a matter of preference. In my own opinion, it is easier for me to explain the T and the F statistics. So I always go for the small option. Simulation 12. How will your result change if you increase an exogenous instrument by one? So I've not been using inflation as an instrument so now inflation is included as an instrument how did my result change still using the collapse option what i observed is that the inflation coefficient by itself is not significant at the one percent level it was not significant until now so that means inflation is a valid instrument for me to include in this model so sometimes including an additional instrument can drastically improve or worsen your results depending on what you have the last simulation is to show you how your results can change when you include a variable not used in your model as an additional instrument. I'll be including the log of trade as an exogenous instrument. The log of trade is just one of the variables in my data. Exabon 2 allows you to do that. So let's check out the result and see if there's any noticeable change. I can see clearly here that by including the log of trade as an exogenous instrument improved the outcome of my results. I have three significant regressors. I've never had three significant regressors until now. So this tells me I have to retain the log of trade as an exogenous instrument. So try out several simulations with your model and see what you have. The Hansen statistic is good, 0.219. So it tells me that um, my instruments are valid and the model does not suffer from second order serial correlation. So in comparing the results from one step and two step GMM, you will observe that your regression output is very similar. You have identical Hansen statistic in most cases. That is what I observed in my own. So check out whether you have the same thing. 
and the AR2 statistics too are not so different from one another using the two different estimation procedure. So you may be wondering, so which one can I use, the one-step system or the two-step system? It depends. You can run the two simulations and choose the one that gives you the best results. I will always encourage you to read articles to see how they um, stipulated their models using the system GMM procedure. So you can read up some of these papers and also go on the internet to see uh, several papers that use the system GMM procedure. In my paper here indicated in number four, I use the two-step system GMM procedure. So I will encourage you to check it out. The next video is on how you can decide between either using the difference or system GMM. Thank you once again for watching. Please share my videos with your cohorts, your students, your academic community. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Crunch Econometrics is dedicated to beginners and intermediate users. Once again, if you need the do file, it is available on my website. Join my Facebook community, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Reddit. Please don't go away. I'll be right back with the next video.